Uh, we're going to work on the uh, dead arm blocks. I'm going to teach you how to make your blocks better and stronger. And that way, when somebody tries to hit you, it's going to hurt them when you block. All right? So that's one of the things we focus on. Everybody's got them go, no, okay. And most of you, you do the block, unblock. Uh, similar to that, but we're, uh, we implement it into a lot of the defense techniques we use. So the first uh, the technique is just you block on my arm right here. You just keep an open arm somewhere like here. Cool. And then here. So everybody do this. And I'll tell you, this works really well against people bigger than you. So all you folks that aren't that big, I like hitting guys like this who are bigger than me. Because <laughs> I know I can make it hurt. That's my... You do it with it. Oh. And this is just nice and light. We're not even putting a lot of fish into this, right? You can really light you up when you do it a lot harder. All right, everybody got that? Okay, next one is low. So you're working the other side of the arm, right? Okay, try that. Right? <laughs> Keep your knees bent, good posture, turn your hips a little bit, go into the arm. Okay, all right. Get more about, all right, now we're going to do all four. So it's one, two, three, pull. 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 One, two, three, Okay. Okay. Nice and slow. Right. One, two, three, four, five. When you do it a few times, <laughs> you start to get them mixed up. I know. I, I know. I did. Okay, let's start thinking and I lose it. Alright, so now we want to work on uh, framing our defense, right? So when you put your guard up when we're fighting, this is kind of your defense. So, same thing with the uh, same principle here with the blocking. So, some of the techniques we're going to work are, are going to be off of a grab and then a, a haymaker. Somebody's going to grab me and try to clock me in the face, right? So we're going to do some defenses to that. So, the, the dead arm principle is uh, he's going to come to me at a, a, a haymaker at my face and I, and I frame my defense out. So, I'm not me reaching it out there, I'm reaching it right here and then another one. Come to my face. Okay, make sure you guys. A little slower, a little slower. Let's speed down a little. One, two, three, inside out. Okay, everybody got that? So it's got, it's got to come toward the face. We're not going to knock each other out this way, but it's got to come right to here. Okay, and you're blocking with this outer blade. And it's just a little, give me your arm. Give me, give me a punch. It's just, uh, it's just a, it's like that. Okay, I'm not way out here. It's just a little turn. And this turn, if you uh, strike me straight, and then again here with this hand, see, it's just this. Okay, so it's just that little turn. puts a lot of pain on his arm. You're feeling that, right? So it's just one, two, three, four. So nice and slow. Let's get the defense down. We're not reaching for it. Here, here, here. All right? Right. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you ready? I'll punch first. Mm -hmm. so this, this You're blocking with your arm, not your hand. Now, the forearm. So it's got, you're using the wrong arm. All right, switch up. This one. Right hand, right hand. Okay. Okay. Right here. Blade of your arm. Blade of your arm. So, so you can step back. 
Are you going to twist them? Or push them? All right. So again, let me know if you've seen this technique before. Right? Same kind of thing. If he's striking here, 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 here. come closer. Right? Okay? So that's what you're doing there with the shoe So now we're going to do just a... Uh, Almighty haymaker, as hard as he can come. So with the right, he's coming. Yeah. So, so it's two hands. So framing this out, and then he's going to come with the other one. Lower. Yeah. See. All right. I know it feels good, doesn't it? Trust me, I know how it feels. All right. So again, nice and, nice and slow and a rhythm. But again, this is our fra we're framing out our defense. So we're protecting ourselves, and of course, we're going to build off of that and do some techniques off of that. So try that. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> you need a picture of these bruises here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Ready? Believe it or not, you get used to it, but the people attack when you don't. So right. that's, that's the idea. Let's. Yeah. Okay. This one is your dead arm, and this is a strike, right? So this this is really uh, painful. So striking him here and popping the bicep. I can also strike the shoulder. I can also strike the face at the same time. So again, has anybody seen this before? Boom. That's, that's what you're doing right there. You know, everything's right there, all right? So let's work on that again nice and slow, and we're just going to go to the shoulder and the arm because it doesn't hurt quite as much as the bicep and the face. So here, right? So when he's coming in to strike me hard, right? I, I'm very confident he's not going to get through that. And I start with my hands up, right? So, so yeah, we don't have to go that hard. Here, 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 here. See how my hips turn into it a little bit? All right, try that. Make sure your haymaker is coming towards their temple. Right? With your two knuckles. Right over the temple. With your knuckles. Ready? Shoulders. And, uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody did it? So now we're going to work, uh, work this into a technique. So the first attack is someone comes up and grabs you by the arm and he's going to cold cock you right in the face, right? So, exactly, that's what you want to do. So you grab me. I'm going to start like this. I got my hand, I got my guard up, right? Here, and hidden in this is a strike, right? Then I step away, grab the wrist, and come over like this. All right, so do that again. Here, block, step, arm goes out, over, and I, and I uh, rest this on my chest, so I have the wrist block right on my chest. Okay? So again, here, block, wrist goes out, step out. I'm stepping away from that, because he might try to hit me with it again, right? So I'm here, smack, here. Then I want to come in. So I'm behind his weapons now. I don't have control of them. All right? So everybody try that. Good. Oh, you want me to? Okay. Step this way. Step away. Arm and punch. Trade Outside. Yep. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh, Let's go over it again. Everybody just kind of gather around, make sure you can see, okay? You guys see? Can you see? All right, so he attacks, right? Block here. My hand goes under and away from the arm, right? Away from the attack. So I go this way and my hand goes up. 
just going to grab so my fingers wrap around the pinky, the pinky for the hand uh, and my thumb goes right between the index finger and the end of your thumb. So I roll that, I, I guide it like this, I roll it over, and I can feel the pressure on his wrist right now. So once I'm here, I put my hand right by the elbow, and I put this on my chest so he can't pull it away. All right, so I have this balance now. All right. So let's everybody do that with me with your partner. All right. All right. Go ahead. Oh, uh, yeah. you, you guys. Yep. So, my side will attack. All right. Let me stand where you guys stand. Okay. So, grab. Grab. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, that's good. You do that. Do it that way. Okay. All right. So you got your right hand up. You're gonna block, right? Is that All right, start again. Start again. Let's have, all right, this side is going to attack. I guarantee you, right? Right, like that. So you grab the left hand and strike with the right. All right? Just so everybody's doing the same thing. Grab left, strike with the right. Okay? No, you're grabbing your right hand. Yeah. No, I'm saying I'm grabbing your left, your, I'm sorry, I'm grabbing your right hand, striking okay. my right hand. Yeah. Just grabbing the right. Yep. All right, ready? So, block. It goes out, 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 Grab the wrist, grab the arm. Yep. Turn it over. Wrist to chest. Okay. Alright, good. I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to make this a lot easier. So, now ready. So, we call this the, the wash rag. Alright? So, here, here, here. So, I'm going to grab right this forearm muscle right here. And I've got the wrist lock here, and I'm going to take it and do this. So that's how I get a big guy like this to, to feel it. So here, here, okay. and then I'm going to push him down. Because I want him down here. All right? That's where I want him to be. Yeah, we're gonna go from there. All right, so come back up. <laughs> so everybody, uh, we, we want to work on this wash rag. So with your partner, I want y'all to get to here, and then we're gonna you, you push in, twist that way, and grab the forearm and pull this way. So you're kind of wringing it in three directions at once. Okay, and you're and, and in case your hands get sweaty, that's why I'm putting it here. I don't want it to slip. And see what happens. He's I've got his balance there. I'm gonna have to put him down. All right. So let's try that and just get to the this position and work on that wash rug. All right. Okay. So you step out this way. Step out. It doesn't take much, does it? Yeah, you just don't don't break his arm. Just. That's where we want to get you twisting that form. So let me show you this again. Here. So here. So I want to I want to bend this. I want to bend this. So it, so it looks like this. All right. It looks like this. Here. 
and then I'm grabbing and twisting, right? And all I have to do when I have it on my chest is just bow a little bit and put him right down. So once I get it bent, then I straighten it out. So when I've got him there, so I want to have my knees tight around this elbow behind me. And I've got his shoulder locked. He's not going anywhere. So, uh, and from there, I've got the wrist still, so I, I don't just push it down. I rotate it like that. So I'm kind of twisting it into the ground. Like this. So when I do that, and if he tries to get his arm out, he can't do it because I have it. All I have to do is keep the, uh, the elbow from moving right there. Yeah. All right, so so we want to get to here, and then then this. Okay. So everybody, get work on. Let's get to that part and work on that wash rag. Work on that. All right. So you step out with, with that, that foot here. Step out the right. Step in the direction. Okay. So right, twist. So bring it to your chest. Take your other hand. Grab right here. Bend. Bend my punch. Bend my punch. Punch. That's it. Bend. Push here. Right. And bend. There you go. Grab it. Move it here. Here. Yep. So tight. Bend out here. It's easier for me. So grab another rubber. Grab a tight grab. Here. It's easier for you. See that? See what that looks like? Twist it. Twist it. All right. Let's see you do that. Oh, man. I'm going to have a crooked arm by the end of the class. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I stretch too, but you can't tell because I'm in flexion. Yeah, that's it. So step out. Yeah. 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 Here. This has to go yeah, this here out there, and I try to do this not as much. I get you in here, and I push it down. Tight, feel it? Yeah. Oh, See where I'm nice and strong because my elbows are tight to my body. If I'm out here, then he's out. So I'm pushing it in. I'm grab you. Just to get out, not strike him that way. And then pulling it on this way. Ready to see you. That elbow down, so here, twist and bend the board. Watch, watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it looks like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Bend forward. My fingers yeah. here, my thumb right here. Yeah. Yeah. Push in, and then twist in, pull. Oh, oh, now, yeah. what's so pain, right? Be strong. What's that? What's that? A little bigger too. So well, I'm, I'm more hurt. Yeah. 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 So think Pull your hand up. So yeah. the nice part is, if you were a lot bigger than me, who's bigger than me? I'm not trying to grab him around here because we're so be able to hear you're not going to break it all. Just go ahead and pull it. You'll be fine. He has a vertical. We're not going to break it. It's good. It's just a curvy thing. There you go. Give me a minute again. One more time. All right. Grab the cover. This way. Yep. Lift your hands up. There you go. Ready? Here. Step right side. Push. There you go, Lord. Yeah. Does it take you really just to Oh, yeah. I'll be great. At least you get to take your own you're getting, I want to be here. See here? Right? Make sure both are Now I've got to twist it. Yes. But then also, so so here. This is what I'm doing. There. I'm thinking right here. Right so I've got more pain. Before I'm not doing anything. Nope. Okay. Don't be in the tab. So it's really just. Oh, but let me try again. Now I've got a lot easier. I don't think I grabbed you right anyway. There we go. How about now? I just didn't grab you right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good. I don't want to be trying to wrestle yeah. over here. Yeah. You feel that? Much yeah. smoother. Let's see, I've got this. I've got the shoulder. 
tries to squirm, I squeeze, and that puts more pressure on his shoulder, and I, and I pull. So that's what we're going to do for him. So give me your other arm. Give me your other arm back here. This is handcuffing position. Pull your feet up. Pull your feet up and cross them. Pull your feet up and cross them. Up further. On both knees. I know. <laughs> See, I'm trying to get him here. Like I've got him all right, 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 right. up, right? That's the idea. Um, and the, the next part of it. So let's work on that, get that next phase in there. Get the, the arm wide, knees around it. You're twisting and pushing that shoulder, rotating that shoulder into the ground to lock that. Yeah, that arm there. It's very uncomfortable. No. <laughs> look, look great. That yeah. really works. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the rest, <laughs> yeah. One little part felt good. All right, uh, let me get it to you once. Do you feel it? All right. And, and, um, Okay, step out with both knuckles, step out with your other foot. Step out with your right foot. So here, just step out with your right and then stick your arm out. Alright, put it up against your chest. And bring me down to the ground, there you go. Don't go lose control. Keep, keep that elbow right around here. Like watch your hand. Okay, bring me down. So I just want to be here. Stand up. Put my elbow between your knees. Just don't break my arm. Okay, like if you direct the elbow, that way you got the hump real quick or something else attacking you. A little further. Gotcha. There you go. All right. We're kneeling on our knees and our ground. Right. You're, you're up, right? you can't move. That's okay. And if I do, then I'll push off her to get yes. up. Okay. Yep. And break it or not on the way out. Yeah. Tighten up, champ. Okay, it's your time. Slide over a little bit. Okay. Step out. Guys, come down a little bit. Hey! Good. 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 Yeah, keep driving. Can you feel that? You're going to drive right. Step this way. Step this way away from this strike. And now you can turn this hand on the elbow. Keep it close to your body. Turn it and drive it the washer. Show me the washer. You okay? Well, just make sure you tap so I know I need to stop. Let's do it. Do it again. All right. You're going to do it. I'm 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 Right. 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 Right.
So you, you can do this as a standing up technique too. But I gotta have the pressure here. Um, but once I put you on the ground, you can't roll because your face and your shoulder is into the ground. So I'm pushing that in there and twisting it, and you have no room. Right. Right. My turn. <laughs> And then there. And then I push it that way, right? I push it that way. Okay? You okay? Yeah, We're going to be done after this session. Shoot! Man, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> 
Push him down. Straight up. Hey, you are tapping. That's your fault. And then body slam. And then body slam. That's it. I'm not feeling any of that today. Just keep doing that, Eddie. Don't stop. Okay. So now we're gonna we're gonna do a, little, a, a couple of things off of a choke now. So I just want to show you to show you some basic escapes from a choke. So a big guy like this comes and tries to choke me a little tighter. So the easiest thing, the easiest way to get out of this is to understand he's not gonna hit me, right? So I can just duck out like that. So I might just want to escape. So also everything is open. Eyes are open. Throat's open. Groin's open. <laughs> this is not a good way for somebody to attack me. It gets tougher if they if they pin me against the wall, right? So so um you know, this coming through. Coming under is a good way is a good way to get out of that. And also here, and I can just peel this off. Right? Uh, take them out. So, let's just work on the escape just, just for a quick second so we know how this works. So I'm going to put my arms up, my hands up, so he doesn't knee me in the face when I go under. And just duck and come back when I have space. All right, just work through that real quick. Again, hands up, light strike, here, duck, and get out. Right. So try that. I still want to see you. Like strike in my face or to my body. There you go. Other side. Like strike. <laughs> All right, duck under. Good. All right, my turn. So when you duck, keep your head up so you're watching. Don't go. I don't want to do this. I know I should get it to do. You may. I suppose it doesn't really matter which. As long as you get out. Right. Try to keep my eyes up. Ready? Smack that bad guy. Go under one side. Because here I'm still kind of strong. Yeah, good. You cover your face first. <laughs> okay, what? watch for a second. So again. Since I heard. All right. So again, when I'm getting out of this, I don't want to. I don't want to do this, right? Here, boom. Okay. You know, you kind of do a squat. You're getting out of the way. So just, just keep that in mind. I don't want to duck into whatever you know he might be knee in the next. All right. So there's a couple other good ways to get out of this. Um, so here. Grab, right? Up, down, right? And right on the, right on the uh, bicep's a good spot. Right here, I want him to bend this, all right? And then I'm going to step out this way and put my, see how I've got him locked up? I'm going to smack him again right here. I'm going to turn the head, not just down, but over and down. And see how I follow him? And I've got his balance. So if I let it go, come on up. Come up for me. See how he fights me? But if I take his head like that, and then I'm going to roll him over. Does this look familiar? What we just did, right? The handcuffing position. His shoulders are really tight, so I can't pull his shoulders up as far. But I still have his arm rested against my knee right here, so, so I'm not letting it out. And I also have my hands free, so if I need to get up because his buddy's going to come after me, I can get away. This, all right? So, so again, remember, got a lot of stuff I can do here. Up, grabbing this, I got to hold on to this. Drop my weight on it. Stepping that way. Put my hand on his belly. Push the head. Hey. Follow him down. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Then I've got the elbow. Push with my body. 
replace my foot right next to him. See how close I am to him? My foot is right under his face, okay? And I can feel the pressure on his shoulder right now. So what I'm doing on him, because his shoulders aren't that tight, are kind of tight, I've got my shin up against his shoulder blade. So some people are more flexible, and I know I can bring the arm up further, but for him, I feel the pressure right here. So as I, as I lock him up, see how I pull my other foot into here? To hold this, I'm pushing my knees together and twisting that way and pulling. So push my knees together, twist my hips that way, pulling against where the elbow is. All right? So it's not as much pain. We're going to loosen that shoulder up. Sounds great, sir. All right. So again, let's go through it. Easy. Strike. Grab. Yes. Oh, sugar, sir, why just do that much? Okay. All right. Okay. Both hands go down. Straight. So grab at the last strike of the left. So I'm going to here. Oh, okay. Grab. Outside. Grab on the outside. Straight. Straight. Win the lift. Yeah, it's the same, same wrist lock. So we're going to be here. So my fingers grab the thumb pad. And my other thumb goes right between the knuckles. Oh, that's it. So, over this. See how your thumb is right here? Is that right? You're going to walk out later. Just walk. Just walk. Okay. I just failed it, so I didn't get to see it. <laughs> so. Gather around so you can see where I'm grabbing. Now I'm going to show you how to grab it. So I'm here. So I can do lots of things. You know, I can hit him because he's got both hands locked up. So I want to have one hand inside and one hand outside. I'm going to strike with my right hand and grab with my left hand. So strike. I'm grabbing. My fingers are wrapping around the thumb pad and my and uh, my thumb's going right between the, the four knuckles, basically. So it looks like this. All right? So again, I'm not just twisting it that way. I'm twisting it out. See how he's going? I'm not even doing it hard or fast if he's already going that way. So strike with the ear, and he starts to go that way already. And then I'm going to drop my weight right on his bicep. Don't, don't do it on the bicep here, but getting him down. And then his head's going with, you know, down here. So then I don't have any space to get under here. So I need to step out here, put my hand in the belly. It's really tight. But then I turn the head. So everybody get me your partner. And we're gonna we're gonna do this together. Alright? So two hand chuck. Here, get your champ. Hand in, right hand inside, left hand outside. Right hand strike to the face. Left hand grab. Fingers on, on the thumb pad. Thumb between the knuckles. Okay. Arm goes up. Elbow strike to the bicep. Other, other arm. This way. There, yeah, there you go. And then I'm stepping toward the outside. And, and keeping the arm, put my hand on the belly. I'm going to take this arm. Touch the face. Or step this way. Push the face around. Put your arm and down. down belly. So I'm going to take the other hand. But you got me trapped. Take the other hand. Put it on my face. Uh huh. Take me down. All right, you guys try it. Yeah. Ready? You know what to do. One hand's going to go up the middle, the other one's going to grab over here. So, right hand strike, left hand grab. Boom. Put the elbow down. Okay. Step across. Oh, yeah. Put that there. Put the reach under. Put that on my belly. This one can go on my face. Push me back. <laughs> So you want to push the face. That's crazy. Your your arm looks like a pretzel. Push his face. He's gonna go where his face and his nose go. All right, ready? So left hand strike, right hand. Grab. And grab. 
Don't lose control of this. Make sure that you can take your other hand. Push it in. Push it in. Push it in. Touch his face. Push his face over. Not his head, his face. And you gotta be over here. You gotta be here. Okay, and then lock the elbow up. Lock the leg up. And you want to have your feet just like this. Just like that. Okay, do that. There you go. Let's try that one. Yeah, that part too, okay? Ready? Up, good. Elbow down. Reach under. Push the face. Take the other 
getting out, right? Um, one, Matt, here, go away. Here, here, outside, both hands, up, boom. Okay, so everybody just try that, work both sides. Here, I come over the top, sweep the arms away, and get away. All right? So, all right, you ready, bud? See that? Well, I mean, you can do it with me. Go ahead and do it with Noah, too. So you want to hit, smack, do something, smack, and then just get out. So you can come over the top of both arms and then slide out and skate. Oh, I'm just broke your arm. Slap on the inside. Yeah, slap or hit, whichever. And then come around. And then step away. Yep. Yep. That's all right. Hey. 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 So I have a little bit of control, but he can do a lot of things to me. He can choke me, he can punch me, he can try to put me in some kind of lock. So from a choke hold, what do I do? So choke, right? Same technique, here, here, here. All right, 
twist my hips. It's called stripping, right? I twist my hips out, and I want this leg. I want one of these legs. So whichever leg I get is going to be the same arm, same side as the arm. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to peel it, block. See, so I've got him, and then I'm going to push this leg out and roll on top of it. And then I've got got a lock right here. Okay. Wow. <laughs> all right. So again, I got all kinds of stuff I can do to him, right? I want to come under, shrimp out. I'm, I'm planting my right foot and I'm turning my hips to the right. And I put my heel on his knee. Roll this over. I've got him in a lock. And my wash rag is really important here because I don't have as much leverage as I did standing up. But I've got, he's feeling it. So, I'm going to soften him up by making him feel it and I'm going to push his leg out at the same time. So, see? So, when I come up, I, I pull his shoulder up and I put my leg up because I don't want him to roll over and, and hit me with that or fight me, right? Like, this is not a good position for me. So, I want to be, we're going to cup this elbow right here so I can do the same lock that we had like this. Or I can straighten it out. And what comes next? I'm going to roll him. I'm telling him where to go so I don't break his arm right there. So I'm going to roll him here. That was a failure. Right? And then here on my right. Right. So I got now. Sorry, this way. There we go. Um, so it's everything we just did that I can get to. Uh, I know. Trust me, I know. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. It doesn't make it any better. No, I know. I know. Yeah, just so you know. <laughs> yeah. So again, smack. I think we'll just try outside this way. See, inside or outside, it's kind of tough because um, I don't have quite as much leverage on the wrist this way. But if I do it this way, I might be a little bit trapped. That's why shrimping really helps if you want to go. So, boom, boom, boom. I want to be here, and I'm going to roll it like this. All right, so now, look what I have braced. I have this elbow braced so he can't get away. So, as I do my wash rag, I'm also pushing the disc to squeeze to take away the space. And then, I'm going to slide, see where my foot is right here? Can you guys see? Come, come watch this. Come over here, Boots. Look at this, Boots. You see my foot? It goes right here. And I'm going to... Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. way to create space so I can get my foot on his knee. Now another little trick to this is as I shrimp out here, I tend to put it a little bit higher because if I put it right down there on the floor, what can he do? He can pass it, pass it. He can see, I don't want that, right? So, so the first thing I do is I'm going to loosen them up, right? I'm going to loosen them up here. Okay? So I've got pressure here, so he's not thinking about passing my guard. Once I have this, then I put it down. And it's here. So that's really what I want. I want this control. I've got, I've got the other right there. And it's all my weight on his wrist, which is good for me. <laughs> Are right, you ready to try it? Get with your partner and we'll walk through. Do I try it or do I need to do it to you first? Try again. Yeah, you got to come up your side. 
In guard, right? This is guard where you put the legs around. <coughs> now, no, 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 that's full mount. Guard. They wrap their legs around. Down on your knees. Down on your knees. Yep. They wrap their legs around you. Okay, you're going to simulate a choke. Okay. You're going to strike. Strike. The right arm comes under. The right arm comes under. Grabs here. And uh, switch hands. Hard grab. Hard grab. Hard grab. Twist. Shrimp out. So, yep. Put your slide your foot down the here. And then twist and push and roll toward me. Roll toward me. There you go. Roll all the way over here. Push my leg. up. And keep your knee right down there. Right there. Just like that. So see how you got that now? Make it back. Now switch. Good job. <laughs> So it's kind of the same thing that you feel you guys. Okay, yeah, good. So help each other remember what to do. And his guard, that means you get down on your knees. No, no, right between his feet. Between his feet. Alright. You put your guard around him, right? Alright, what do we do? Alright? Reach under. Reach under to the side. Actually, with that, just reach out. Put your hips left. Right. Grab, peel, come on, tough, tough grip, your knees. All right, you got to put your foot on his, on his knee right there, roll this way. Roll this way, yeah. Hold this, you're rolling away from the lock. Hold that lock the whole time. Need it? Try it out. So you go inside, come back up, come back up. He's trying to roll you that way, so help him out a little bit, okay? So, you go through it again. Smack, grab, grab, hard grab, tough grab. Grab, like you're grabbing a motorcycle and rubbing it. Twist. Remember this? Okay. Yep. Shift your hips and put your push foot on his knee and roll him this way. Hips. All right, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Keep rolling. Hold this, one, hold this arm up. Put this knee up. Put this knee up right there. Close it. Close it. Yeah, you got it. Now put the lock right down. It may be, but make it feel. Keep this one over. Motorcycle. Wash rack. Wash rack. That's good. Okay. All right. Now you're going to do it right. Tell me how to set up the right. You've been through it twice now. You've got to remember this. Okay. You're going to do it. Lay down. So you're going to do it. Oh, I'm sorry. 
remember the turning the head, right? We want to get the head offline, turn the head to get the balance. She's doing that. She's working on this. Turn the head offline. Now, see, now you can well, um, we're staying close. We don't want too much space between our opponents. We want to stay close. So we can't really want to get it out of the water, right? So those are some things. And, and watch for those things when you see the other instructors demonstrate techniques. And you'll see commonality in the way everybody explains that. So there's some really key principles. All right. Thank you, sir.